Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, this is part four of our social media integration project. And um, what we're going to do is carry on from our uh, graph API from Facebook. And to do this, what we're going to start off with is we're going to build a controller. We're just going to call that controller Facebook. So from here, we right click on controllers. We're going to create an empty controller. Call that Facebook, and we'll just add. Now, one thing we want to remember here is that uh, we will be using some of the user credentials that we have uh, requested before, um, and in order to do, to ensure that we always have uh, a uh, an authenticated connection on our uh, controller, we need to make sure that we're always authorized. So. I'm going to right away, I'm going to put the uh, authorize uh, attribute on my controller. That way, uh, anytime I try to access Facebook, it's going to ask me to authorize. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to look for is we're going to add an action. And we're going to add an async action. It is going to be a task of uh, action result. And this one is going to be called posts. And you notice we have uh, red underlines here. We just have to add threading to our controller. And we are going to be returning a view right off the bat. OK, so the first thing we have to do is um, we have to uh, get a handle on the user manager so that we can get some uh, claim uh, tokens from the user. I'm going to go and steal some code from over here at the account controller. And <clears throat> we'll go up and uh, look for, I'm just going to go right up to the top here. And we're going to grab this code right here. OK, uh, let's take this. Now, I'm not doing code reuse right now, more because it's a demonstration. But I am going to be, um, oops, I got that in the wrong spot right there. Okay. But I will be uh, using the, um, put that into the controller. That's why it's giving me all the red underlines here. And we're going to go up and just grab this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, if I was uh, developing. Uh, this app for real, I would have this a lot more managed, but uh, we're going to be working off uh, just quick things that we can do in the video. Now, you see this red underline here. Uh, it's saying that we need to add a uh, using identifier. So this is Microsoft.ASP.NET.Identity.OWIN. So we're going to add that. Okay. So now we can uh, we can call uh, call up this and this is this code here is going to help us get the information for the current user so in order to get the uh, current claims we need to ask the user manager okay for get claims async And we ask for the HTTP context. And we ask for the user and the identity. And then we ask for get user ID. Okay, and you'll notice that's got this red underline again. And that's because we need to add the uh, ASP.NET identity. We added OWIN before, so now we're going to add identity. And then the next th thing that we're going to do is uh, ask for the access token. Okay, current claims, and we're going to ask for the first or default. And oops, before we do this, I am going to also do that, make sure it's asynchronous. So current claims dot first or default. All right. We want to uh, look for the 
claim with the type <coughs> where the type equals and if you recall we named this token uh, urn uh, colon tokens that is Facebook okay colon Facebook all right now from this point we have to say if access token uh, equals no all right let's just uh, let's just return uh, an error okay so we do HTTP status uh, code result and we're going to do notice we have these uh, red underlines here and so that's why that's the problem okay now we got it and we go uh, we add the uh, HTTP st status and I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say something like this let's uh, let's just do uh, not found okay it's not really the right thing to do because that would imply that the, the server didn't find it but we're just gonna throw a, 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 an ambiguous thing out there and we can also do this we can do um, token not found okay we could at this point we could bounce it back and say you know we have to you have to uh, do a login or what have you, have you but uh, we won't we're going to go into the graph API Explorer and to get there we're going to go to developers.facebook.com go into tools and support and then we're going to find it right here at graph API Explorer now yesterday I created a favorite from what we were doing and uh, we will find it right here I believe that's the one that I want we'll just recheck that so far it looks like it's correct now just a note um, is that I'm asking for a limit of 1000 um, feed uh, posts uh, it's only going to give you a limit of roughly 250 to 275 posts in one shot. Um, at the very bottom of that post, you're going to see paging. Okay, so I, 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 what I can do here is I can ask for the next set uh, if I'm really, uh, you know, if I decide to use that paging element. So we're going to just keep it with what we have so far. All right. So with that, um, we have a URL that looks like this. This is part of the URL. That's the final part. The first part, however, is like this. So we look for HTTPS, okay, it's a secure connection, graph.facebook.com slash and then we put in the information that we're asking for okay so it's slash me question mark uh, and then our query string that we're asking for now the other thing that we're going we need to do as I mentioned in part three is we need to add our access token and this is a formatted string in C sharp which means that we are going to add some parameters so from here this zero is going to ask for the first element in our parameter list. Now, uh, because it is a string format as well, these little curly braces, they need to be um, escaped by adding an extra set of curly braces around them. Otherwise, they'll be interpreted as, uh, as part of the parameters list, and that would give us an error. So from here, oops, I cut that. So we're going to put that into our create. There we are. Now we still have some errors that we have to deal with, and I'm just going to work on that right now with you. I'm going to do this. Put that up there. Okay. And uh, we're going to be using this in a moment here, so just bear with me. All right. Now we go to uh, our request and we add a method. Our method is get. Okay, and 
what we are going to be doing is in this using statement, we're going to be uh, asking for a response, okay? A HTTP web response, okay? And um, to get that, we do request dot get response. And I'm going to use an asynchronous response, which means I have to put in the await right here. And it's going to be a, a HTTP web response. Just one little quick thing I got to put in the wrong code there. There we are. We have it right now. OK. So now um, from here, we are, um, we are going to ask for the data that's coming back from the response. And that data comes back as a stream. Okay, so we need to create a stream reader. Okay, so then we from that stream reader. Now you notice all these red underlines, don't worry about that. All right, get response stream. Now we're going to be adding the system.io to our using, and those lines will go away. Very nice. Okay, now we've got that code. Now what we need to do here is we're going to um, take the result that comes back from our Facebook call, and that result will be in JSON, as you've, you remember in part three. So to do that, we do reader dot uh, to end async. And this is because we want to grab the information, like the entire uh, source of the information, and put the results into a string. Now, um, we're going to be creating a, uh, a view for this. So I'm just going to dump the results into, uh, into a view bag, uh, a dynamic object, and we're just going to call that JSON. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is um, I'm going to just copy this variable. The next thing we need to do, of course, is create a view for it, uh, for this action. So we just right click in the, within that action and we go to add view. OK, and the view name will be posts. It's going to be just an empty template We're using layout. It's not a partial view. We click add. And here we have it. Now, uh, I'm going to dump all of the uh, resulting text from JSON, OK? And it is going to be going into uh, to displaying something with the HTML.raw, all right? So from here, um, we have everything all, all, all ready to go. Uh, if now, before I run this, I just realized I've got one thing that I have to correct here. And I'm going to just bring this down so I can, uh, everybody can see it a little bit better. And it is this part right here. I just realized that I have to ask for the value of the access token, not just the access token, because what we're actually returning here is a full claim result from our database. So now that we've got that in check, we can uh, go back into our Google Chrome. OK, so let's go ahead and just launch this. We, I've closed down my Chrome. And uh, just remember, guys, that uh, it's good to just shut down the application once in a while. That just sort of removes any of the cookies that might be stored. Um, and uh, get any memory that uh, might be residual in some of your testing that you're doing. OK, so from here, we are going to go into our login screen. And we're going to select Facebook as our method of checking. OK, and we will register ourselves here. And everything has gone through with our registration, so that's good. 
Now, we're going to, we haven't added any links here, so we're just going to do, uh, go up to our URL and type slash Facebook slash posts, and we'll go into the page like that. Now, if all went right, we should receive a page that has uh, a bunch of uh, jumbled up uh, JSON um, code in, in, embedded in it. So let's, uh, let's cross our fingers and make sure this worked. Okay, good. So what you can see here, this is all of the text that came through from our response from Facebook. And um, there, you know, you, you could format this if you want so that you can, you know, you'd be able to uh, read it. Uh, but what we're going to be doing in our next video is start to build some uh, objects uh, based around the information that's retained or received from this feed. So uh, stay tuned for part five. Uh, remember to like and share, guys. And I really appreciate the responses I'm getting. So. Let's keep it going and let's catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy your day. Talk to you soon.